Okay, today for our daily cancellation, I will be canceling the football team in Washington, and I'll explain why. Um, First of all, you know that in this cultural moment that we currently are in, um, where the racist origins of of many things, of everything, is finally coming to bear. Uh, We talked a few days ago about the racist origins, for example, of sleep. Okay, Sleeping is systemically racist. I don't know if you knew that. So in that environment, naming or renaming a sports team is a hazardous pursuit that, that, that must be handled with the utmost care. Um, this is going to be very difficult to do without being racist. Obviously, the professional sports team in Washington had to get rid of their Redskins name. It was deeply offensive to white liberals and even a few Native Americans, perhaps. But the fear was always, here was my great fear, and I, I think I said this. This was a case that I made. Okay, get rid of the name. I'm worried that the new name might be more dehumanizing than the old. That's the thought that's kept me up at night. And finally, my nightmare scenario has become a reality. ESPN reports that the team formerly called the Redskins will, at least for the 2020 season, officially call itself the Washington football team. That's the new name, at least for now. And their logo is just a red background with yellow letters that says, the Washington football team established 1932. Now, needless to say, when I saw this for the first time, I vomited. Um, What what they had before was merely degrading, racist, and offensive. This new name is traumatizing to a nearly lethal extent. I almost died when I first saw this. First of all, let's go through the problems here. Right off the bat, obvious one here, Washington was a slave owner. His name should not be found on a football helmet or anywhere else on earth. Also, the word foot is inherently otherizing to those who identify as disabled. It invalidates their lived experience, and it relegates them further to the fringes of mainstream society. The word ball obviously brings to mind anti-trans stereotypes, not to mention it marginalizes those who who identify as two-dimensional. Now, it's hard to even know where to begin with a, with a slur like team. I can't believe that it's the year 2020 and anyone is calling themselves a team. Which, for one thing, is an anagram for meat. So are we just pretending that vegans don't exist now? Or, so we're just erasing their existence also? Also, the concept of team has sexist and patriarchal roots, evoking a time when women were not able to participate in team sports because they were considered too fragile and weak. Now... 1932. So you think, you know, we, we've, we've, it, 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 it's bad enough Washington football team. Um, that's the worst part. No, 1932, perhaps the most atrociously offensive aspect of the entire revamped logo. Remember that Arabic numerals were appropriated from Arab culture. And now they bring to mind the West's history of colonization and violence against black, black and brown bodies. Um, 1932 also happens to be the same year that Charles Lindbergh was kidnapped making the memorialization of this year very traumatizing for for trafficking victims. Um, And of course, as as everybody knows, I don't have to tell you, 1932 is also the year that Mahatma Gandhi began his hunger strike against the British new caste separation laws, which is an event that Hindus still solemnly remember and celebrate today, I assume. By claiming 1932 on their logo, Washington is ruthlessly appropriating from Indian culture and erasing Gandhi's legacy at the same time. Um, Now, on the plus side, of course, the Great Depression did impoverish a lot of white people in 1932, so that's good, but it's not nearly enough to balance everything out here. If Washington wants to pick a name that will not minimize, marginalize, otherize, dehumanize, patronize, problematize, criticize, villainize, or vaporize any protected class or minority group, it could go with something like the Saris, um, with a mascot of a tearful white man prostrating himself and humiliated submission. Okay, that would be good. If they're not ready to take a a very socially conscious step like that, then I think the next best option would be a name that is nothing more than incomprehensible sounds mixed together. Like, um, you know, I mean, really anything, just as long as it's not a real word, just uh, like the the, the, the afushmigli-ers. 
for example, or even uh, the Flindershins, you know, it, which I kind of like actually. Now, the, the Flindershins has a has a ring to it. Just something that there's no there's no word. It's not associated with anything, and then people can create their own associations with it. Really, anything would be better than the old name or the new one. Though I fear that whatever name they ultimately choose, um, whatever it is, the emotional damage has already been done. And so that's why they are canceled. Hey, you. Uh, yeah, you. You right, you right there. Hit the subscribe button right now. Do it. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It's somewhat appreciated.